Hello, everybody, and welcome back to yet another episode of The Bests. Previously, we decided definitively the best game world to live in is Stargate SG-1. This episode, <laughs> the best, ugliest Nintendo character joining us, top of the order, in cameras, Will Crosby. <laughs> Thanks for specifying. Uh, Stargate, the ultimate world. God, I, I'm in the middle of an episode right now that is like it. OK, look. I'm, oh, I'm my God. No, this can't be the Stargate cast. Halfway through, it turns into a Kurosawa tribute, and I was not expecting that at all. It was pretty bonkers. Anyways, um, next up, we've got Chris Elliott. How's it going? If you don't understand what the Stargate references are to, you should go watch the last episode of The Best, which is only available on the Subpixel Streams channel, because that's how you get viewers on a brand new show. <laughs> Well, look, you don't have to go watch that. Just go to Netflix. They got all the Stargate SG1. Just start watching. God, that. fuck. <laughs> you I, should, I should watch all of it. We should do a review cast. It's so good. <laughs> it's surprising. <gasps> Chasing Stargate. Oh, anyways. <gasps> oh. Chasing through the stars. Gate. Through the gate. Um, there is a gate convention. I We should 100% go there for Pixel 8. One time. It anyways. is Jake. <laughs> Jake, Isn't that every June? Jake, you asshole. I told you to watch Stargate, and instead you deliberately yeah, chose no. something else. No, I finished watching Babylon 5, and I actually watched the first episode of Stargate Universe two days ago. <gasps> you Great idiot. show. You, you guys Great are, show. You gotta watch the movie, and then you gotta watch SG-1. No. I've seen Roland Emmerich's Stargate. Thank you very well, much. Go, Universe is SG1. the best. I, I'm not saying it's not, but they do such a I good watched, job of building the lore. Like, I watched the pilot oh, so of good. SG-1. But I watched but Universe I before I watched SG-1. I did not like it. You just got to keep watching SG-1. That's I want gotta my big spaceships, and that's what they gave me in the very first episode of Stargate. Look, Universe. I'm right there with you. I'm not a big fantasy fan, and a lot of Stargate is fantasy, but honestly, it's so good. It gets so... It, a lot of my life is fantasy. I'll but... get around to it. Folks, um, we're going to be deciding the ugliest Nintendo character. This is how it's going to work. Each of us has prepared a 5 to 10 minute PowerPoint presentation with our three nominees for the ugliest Nintendo character. We're each going to present those... <clears throat> And then at the end, we're going to take that list of 12 nominees and we're going to debate it and get it down to three. And those will be our official picks for the ugliest Nintendo characters. Um, going first this time is Chris. Oh, I, shit. It's I think you time? went last oh. last time. So I'm going to let you go first this time. Pretty sure you went last last time, actually. That is true. Oh, actually, well, I'm then. certain of that. I'll go first. Okay, um, you go first. I'll go okay. second. <laughs> Let me uh, let me get this going. I swear to Christ, if he works Stargate in, I'm gonna be so <laughs> fucking. I'm gonna be so mad. I was tempted, legitimately tempted. <laughs> I okay, was tempted folks. to work RuneScape in, so it's fair. Let me um, let me see if I can get this. Is going. Goofy in there, Chris? Is he? Is he? Kingdom Hearts. Will. You decide. This isn't the no, it's Square Smash Enix Brothers. ugliest character contest. Smash um, Brothers doesn't count. Jake does not watch any of my content. <laughs> All right, folks. Are we ready? Yes. I need to share with you. We are not ready. <laughs> We're ready. Oh, uh, can I go home? Um, <laughs> can I go, go to bed? There we go. Someone just joined our Discord. I'm sorry. <laughs> there you go. You should be able to see it. You guys good? Um, let's get the stream going. Stream's good. Folks, I think we're ready. Are we ready? Oh, I'm looking at it in Discord right here. Yeah. Oh, I'm I am also wait. looking in Discord. Ooh, I like that. Out. Okay, are you guys good? Uh, yeah. Yeah, All I'm right. good. Here we go. Thanks. Shout out, Ian. Uh yeah, yeah, it's a placeholder. I forgot to replace that. <laughs> Folks, we need to talk about Ain't no Fugly. Ain't no ugly like Fugly. <laughs> Before we begin though. So that didn't work. Hello. My name is Ian Gibson, and I love to judge things. Look, I know some of you like to call me a contrarian. I don't like that label. I don't think it applies to me, but I have standards. I have very high standards, and I think that makes me uniquely suited to this task, quite frankly, this entire series. What, what is ugly? It's a hard Ugh. question to answer, and sometimes when I'm answering a question, I don't like to answer the question that's asked of me. I like to think of the opposite. First, we must understand beauty. Before Thank you can Jesus. truly judge what is ugly, we have to think about what is beautiful and what makes something beautiful. 
And then we can use that contrast to better identify what is ugly. When I think about something that is beautiful, I think of something that is powerful, that stands <laughs> above all others. <laughs> That okay. is so How is there not Stargate on the screen? <laughs> so awe inspiring that it becomes captivating. You can't take your eyes off it. You want everything to do about it because it's so beautiful and it's exciting. It just it, whenever you see it, you, you can't stop thinking about it, you can't stop looking at it. That's what beautiful is. Now, with that in mind, we can start talking about ugly here. And ugly is it's disgusting. A lot like 7-Eleven pizza, which Will and I unfortunately <laughs> had recently. Ugly is a lot like that, but probably worse. Ugly is also revolting. Like, <laughs> oh, oh, I hate which that. Which apparently is the winner of World's Ugliest Dog recently, and I can see why. Um, that is ugly, but ugly is also wrong. A lot like Google Stadia. If it doesn't, <laughs> if it doesn't sit well with you immediately then it's it's ugly i want to be clear about something here nintendo is not ugly they make incredible games that are very lovely and detailed very well done they're filled with whimsy and delight for all ages they've made a lot of fantastic stuff over the years but nobody's perfect nintendo nobody's perfect nintendo has made plenty of mistakes before is that a wii u and that brings me to my first nominee for Nintendo Uggo. Oh, you bastard. Folks, we need to talk about Pietro. Oh. Pietro oh. is a hideous, terrifying clown that will invade your, your village and ruin your game. It, it's literally, if you have to have that, that ugly clown in your village, it makes you less likely to play the game. This like ram sheep nightmare is, it, it's just a combination of ugly sack of pixels. It's just absolutely <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> He wants you to be happy and smiling just like he is, but it's not true. He cries all the time because of how ugly he is. Look, he's sad right there. Pietro is ugly. He knows it. You know it. Everybody knows it, including Brie Larson. This is a legitimate screen cap of a video where she took a BuzzFeed quiz and it said that she's Pietro from Animal Crossing. Look at that. <laughs> that is disgust. That is dismay. That is disappointment. Nobody likes Pietro and it's impossible to make him cool or not ugly in any way. You could give him a gun. Look at him. <laughs> now he just looks like a convicted rapper who did time for pedophilia and is now snitching on his crew. <laughs> Look at him, you can make him into a toy and he just looks like he's straight out of a backwoods antique store horror movie. Terrifying. Oh. You could give Pietro to his own fans as small as that fan base is, and they will somehow make him even uglier. Oh, God. I oh, hate him. my. Folks, there's only one thing. Ronald McDonald. That needs to happen to Pietro. Execution. He, he needs to die. Oh, I was joking. Pietro is so ugly. that Everyone wants him to die, and he just needs to go away. Folks, he is certified ugly. Next up, my second He's nominee. Off. For Nintendo Uggo. It's Tingle. Look. No! You there don't is. you do that. There he is. This is my shortest segment because quite that frankly, just look at these pictures. Um, yep. Yeah, look, mm -hmm. it's yeah. just it's it's like they're trying to make a funny mascot and it just fails. Uh the, he's been in so many Zelda games and he has multiple iterations, and each of them is unique, but somehow the same amount of awful. Just look at it. It's just uncomfortable, disturbing. And why is his nose so red all of the time? Look at it. It's awful. It's just stare at Tingle. it. It's god awful. Tingle is so ugly that you can't make him sexy. You can't make him look cool or realistic. You can't make him into a badass. It doesn't work. You can even take the best yeah, cosplayers yeah. and put them in Tingle costume and there are no boners around, no matter your sexual preference. Zero Hand boners check. in sight. Hand check. Folks, we have to admit it. It's time to come to a realization. Zelda, fantastic series. Tingle, certified ugly. Which brings me to my final nominee. Nintendo Uggo, number three. It's Mario. Look. <sighs> 
I know this is surprising, but it's something that I'm so I'm so worried. I'm so worried when you realize it, it is very disturbing. And we need to talk about how everybody looks at Mario. They're like, he's jumping around. He's having so much fun. He's flying through the sky. He's getting stars and all this stuff. Sometimes he even goes in a go kart or he takes a bunch of mushrooms and gets real big and starts stomping on stuff. And it's like, oh, isn't Mario so cool? That's not the real Mario, though. <laughs> Mario is a plumber from Brooklyn who is constantly diving into dirty pipes and lusting after unattainable women who have told him to his face that they don't want anything to do with him. This is not what Mario looks like. This is Mario. Mario is a plumber from Brooklyn, and they are all disgusting, ugly, blue-collar perverts with weird smiling eyes that have seen decades of feces and gunk. That stench will never go away. Even Nintendo has admitted this. This is their version of Mario. Still ugly. Folks, all plumbers are ugly people, and Mario is a plumber. They deal with ugly, smelly things, and they're infamous for indecent exposure. Say no to crack, folks. Say no to plumbers. Say no to Mario. Mario, I'm sorry to say, is certified ugly. Folks, I know we're nearing the end here. You've seen Tingle. You've seen Pietro. You've seen Mario. But I need you to remember something as we come to the end of this episode and we start debating these hard-fought nominees. This is beautiful. RX-78-2 Mobile Suit Gundam. Beautiful. Grandpa. Lovely. These are not. These are ugly, ugly things. Thank you. Please send me a friend request on Roblox. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right. I, think I will works. say the original list, I also had Tingle, but then removed him. I thought about it. I expected people to put Tingle. I love. I had Pietro on my initial list. I've got a this stream has ended prompt on Discord. Uh, yeah, I, I killed yeah, it. Because we're going to stream through uh, OBS Ninja. So next up, I believe we're going to go with... Um, Chris, I think you... Not that we have to do the exact opposite order. Jake's going to go last. Really? Chris, Chris, you okay with going next? <clears throat> I'm ready to go next. All right, so you're going to share through Dang. OBS Ninja. I'll let you know when we're oh. good on the stream side. Wait, why did you share through that then? It's easier for me to share through that um, and capture it locally in super high quality, but it's hard for me to capture you Discord streaming to me. Got it. Yeah. It's, it's admittedly wonky, but that's what we got to deal with. Do y'all see this? I Halucha, see I'm sorry, but you're wrong. Okay, let me grab this second, please. I was confused. I didn't know what cancel Ann was. It's cancel Ian. <laughs> Can Cancelian 3. Cancelian. <laughs> oh, that's from Final Fantasy 14, right? Shit. Okay. But wait. Yes. Okay, everyone this is the this? template I used last um, time. I'm worried I, I know. made one so was, well, well, that was intentional. I went back and watched it. <laughs> <laughs> like, whose template can I steal? I believe we are ready for you. <sighs> everyone, it's been a lot of bullshit said today on this podcast. I prepared this not this part of this thing not expecting to go second, but it's still true, even if, if only Ian has said <laughs> So welcome to the no bullshit part of this goddamn stream where I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to give you the hard facts about Nintendo. I'm going to give you the ugly truth. But wait, first, hold on. You got you to gotta have a little bullshit. Come on. Hold on. Who the fuck am I? Like, who, who am I? Who am I to come in here? Well, who am I? Jean Valjean. Obviously. Obvious answer. Trick That's... question. Stupid. No bullshit. Moving on to the first one. The first ugly. Who is it? It's a Nintendo logo. But not that one. It's not, that, that's not the one I'm talking about. Let me just real, real quick aside. What the fuck is this? Hey, Nintendo? What the fuck is this? This... You, you can't have three logos. Pick one, dummies. This... Okay. This one looks like it is a fictional Nazi imperialist group in an anime. <laughs> and I'm... And I'm... And I'm right about that. This is... This I'll is wear not, that on my arm. This is not a logo for a company. This is offensive. <laughs> 
this is just a big N. <laughs> I kind of <laughs> like this one. <laughs> but also, but all it's not just a big N. It's also a big N, but Nintendo was like, make sure we get that L in there for <laughs> Nintendo. The L. <laughs> yeah, this, this was the year they made Luigi happen. <laughs> Nintendo? Hi, it's me, your boy Chris. If you can't get the characters of your own fucking name to look good, how are any of your Mario's gonna be handsome? You this absolute is the Denny's fucking logo. fools. <laughs> Uh, this, by the way, was a logo that they used twice. They used this logo, <laughs> got rid of this logo, and then brought this logo back. So for your your viewing pleasure, the first ugly thing Nintendo did, their own fucking Nintendo logo. car. Wow. The second ugly. These fucking kids from Twilight Princess. <laughs> Fuck these kids. You got Amy from Sonic, Mallow, and that one over there. Oh my god. <laughs> that one over there has the worst face. Yeah, that's right. Worse than Mallow. But you know who's worse than any of these three fucking schlubs? Colin. <laughs> I fucking hate Colin. He's got the saddest, shittiest fucking face. The one thing he does in the entire thing is, is he, he jumps in front of that stupid uh, charging boar, but the only reason that boar is even going to hit any of the kids is his own fault in the first place. I fucking hate Colin. and He has everything coming. Everything coming except anything good. Don Cheeto word of the day <laughs> is Colin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Colin. And and Colin means agony. It's time for the third one. Oh. He's got a bad face. He's dumb looking. Known coward, an idiot dummy. Is it Will? It's possibly a cuck. What do you know? And vaguely Italian. Oh my god. John Lake. The Le like John Leguizamo, he played Luigi <laughs> once. <laughs> hey guys, it's John Leguizamo. We played Luigi once. The Thank past... you for coming to my presentation. Oh my God! Questions? Oh, I'm gonna throw up. Oh God! Oh boy! Um... Hey, well. Uh... <sighs> Goofy is there, by the way. I do see Goofy. Thank you. Oh boy! <laughs> right in front of the Nazi logo. <laughs> um, another incredible presentation by Chris. Thank you so much. Um, We're very stylistically different than last times. <laughs> I like it. Let's go with Will next. Uh, two seconds. I feel like that was not five minutes. I don't think I meant the brief. <laughs> Okay, is that good? Um, once uh, we just see a white. It should be white. What is that? Your favorite color? <laughs> <laughs> it's all colors combined. Um, it's the color of the wind. Okay, I believe we are. Uh, that everybody fun? good? Yeah, I'm good. Checking my pulse. Oh, I'm, I'm We're good. Born ready, folks. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. The Uggos <clears throat> of Nintendo. Uggo Crew! Whoa. By Will Crosby and Dr. Leonard Nimoy. <laughs> you got him? Yeah. Oh, nice. Ian said I had to be more funny this time. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> it's true. Uh oh. Do you gentlemen know who this man is? Uh, Sir Martin Luther. It's not. I know. He was in my presentation, though. This is Noah Webster. Uh, oh, God. Webster's okay. dictionary. Defines ugly as offensive to the sight, offensive or unpleasant to any sense. That. <laughs> you know, I was going to do the same thing to you, but I thought it may be too mean. <laughs> if, with, with, okay just with, that, with just that <laughs> cutout, he looks like a Doctor Who. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll go number one. Okay, there were going to be real pictures here, but I almost threw up Google imaging, so I decided he, not to put He them didn't here. commit like I did last time. Fuck this guy. Belly buttons. Who? Who is that? Are gross. And oh, it's not no. a person. I'm just saying belly buttons are gross. 
I'll go number one. Kraid the Awakened Behemoth <laughs> from Metroid. <laughs> Look at those gross belly buttons. They're are disgusting. Those, are those the nipples? He has three belly buttons that launch rockets out of them. He is fat. He has gross belly button guns. He's pirate muscle. Pirates are bad. And he's the brutal ruler of Brinstar. Also, he's a dick in Smash. Yeah. Yeah. Does he not have the the belly buttons? I, I couldn't. I was trying to get a clearer picture. I could I not see I, if he had the belly I, buttons. You here. needed to pull from Smash Ultimate. Yeah. This is from Melee. Mm. The best Smash. I'll go number two. Orson Welles? From the desk of Andrew Ryan. In the end, what separates a man from a slave? Money? Power? No. A man chooses. A slave obeys. <laughs> Ken Levine, I think, wrote that. Probably. I don't know why I'm laughing so hard at the Ken Levine. Why, why didn't you quote Andrew Ryan? Because <laughs> Ken Levine wrote it. It's true. Probably. In 2006, we obeyed, everybody. We all obeyed. And you know what we created? Oh, I know what it's going to be. Me. Yeah, there it is. No, no. I'm sorry. I don't mean to interrupt, but you're wrong. We created me's, and me's are all ugly. Ugly. <laughs> these are beautiful. These are God's little children. <laughs> <laughs> That one is human poo. It's ugly. Mies are ugly. They're a taint on Nintendo, and I don't know why they stick with them. Also, I found this picture while researching Andrew Ryan. <laughs> it's Andrew Ryan and Frank Fontaine kissing in his office. <laughs> I love that he's holding an incredibly small golf club. I'm sorry. My I can't, favorite part of it. I can't read that. It's a little blurry. Can you read that out loud to me, please? If you want some explanation about what's going on, while well, I suppose they are chilling in Ryan's office, this is before Ryan finds out Fontaine is smuggling and things are going pretty well for him, besides the lies and et cetera. Looks like Fontaine had some kind of scheme planned out and with that Adam hypo with him and probably going to do something crazy to Ryan, but for his own ends, IDK, that then he changed his mind and his heart fell in love with Andrew instead. Heart, heart, tragic love. That is a quote from the artist, I assume. That is a yeah, quote from, from the from artist. The noisy the star. Art. It's on the bottom. <laughs> noisy uh, star. Oh, I, I literally was... Googled Andrew Ryan and this popped up. I thought it was Ken Levine wrote that. <laughs> Ken Levine wrote that. It's a tragic love story of Rapture. Anyways, <clears throat> I'll go number three. What do all of these have in common? Uh-huh. 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 Anybody? Portable. Oh, I have screens. You can, you can play them they while you pull poised. buttons. They have reflective screens. <laughs> oh, no. Do you know how reflections work, folks? No. They oh, go into your eyeballs. That's because the third uggo is you during a loading screen playing one of Nintendo's consoles. You are ugly. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Will. Here's some eye bleach. Oh, Carter. Makes every... <laughs> Only two of these do it for me. Oh, you decided. It's at the home. puppy, right? It's a puppy and Carter. I love peanuts. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I didn't think there was a puppy when you, when you said it because I didn't look in the top right corner and I was like, shut the fuck up. But now I see there's a dog there. So love, fair enough. I Three love, of these things do it for me. I love peanuts <laughs> and the nutless. <clears throat> Okay. Um, well, thank you so much. That's a terrible Jimmy Carter. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's like you smelled a bad fart. <laughs> I have definitely gone too minimalist with this. Um, it's all right because we're I should not I have think, gone last. I think we're short on serious nominees, but uh, Jake, it's over to you. Well, I do have three serious nominees. If I can get the screen share to work, this is not it. Oh, that's not but, it. Hey, that's us again. Uh, and if you all see this, uh, yes, give me one second to get it prepped on my side, and then we can. Oh, sorry, mine's still streaming. Party Hardy. 
Um, Jake, you are good to go. Okay, so my presentation is called Nintendo Don't Look at Me, Finding Beauty <laughs> in Mario's Nightmares. And there is, as with all of your presentations, an overarching theme here. And that theme is that of terror. What terrifies the human being? What is the most terrifying part of the body? Belly button. The toes. No, it's, it is philosophically similar to the belly button, shall we say. The, the taint. Taint. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> so my first pick for ugliest Nintendo character is Poink. Oh, from Super God. Mario Sunshine. <laughs> Ew. I was worried when I put this in here that Ian would, would rise up and say, that is not a character, that is a creature. No, but now that I see that we are not splitting hairs over the semantic <laughs> definition of what is and isn't a Nintendo character, I feel confident with this selection. <laughs> Oh, Point. not only, I don't have any images of it that were at all high res, but not only is this just a horrendous creature in Super Mario Sunshine, but it will, when prompted, attach itself to your flood nozzle, and you can just inflate it through its weird Boom. sphincter Boom. mouth and shoot it at other things. That Truly sounds awesome, awesome, honestly. It's, true. it's pretty Wait a gross. minute, I'm sorry. Well, we'll keep going. We'll keep going. What? Okay, the most... if you're inflating it through its mouth, <laughs> then it's not a butthole. It's a belly button. Because you're, you're also putting technically things, not, not putting inflating things into it. it. Water, but that's fine. You're putting things <laughs> into <laughs> it and not taking look, things out. Look at it. I'm not sure we should be arguing about what you can and can't put into an orifice. We can test it out. What is the most terrifying <laughs> farm animal? Go. <laughs> A pig. I heard pig. And that Napoleon. leads me to character number two. It is oh, not Christ. from Orwell's Animal Farm, Will. <laughs> Thank you very it. much. It is Pig Madango. Get out of here. <laughs> I, from so... the Star Fox series. <laughs> Look at his dead, lifeless eyes. And his... Like a shark's eyes. <laughs> like a shark's eyes. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Though I have not played the Star Fox game in question where Pigma Dengar is introduced, <laughs> I have seen him enough on the web to have an image in my mind of this horrifying character when I hear the words Star Fox. And why would you put this pig in this weird, like, clingy bodysuit? It just is not. Like it's, form over function, it needs to have some sort of. It's not doing any favors for a silhouette. It looks like a Saiyan uniform from Dragon Ball Z. Yes, it, it does. does. It makes me think like of like Ligma instead of Pigma. <laughs> we are not going down this avenue. <laughs> Jake, do, you, do, you, do you have a quote from Pigma Dengar prepared? I do not have any would quotes. You, would you like me to offer one? <laughs> sure. This is my best Pigma Dengar impression. Your daddy screwed real good before he died. That's what he says to wow. Star Fox. Is he that from informs... Star Fox or Deliverance? Uh, that's from. <laughs> that's. I mean, that is vaguely what Pigma sounds like. So that was pretty good. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes. Go that's on. a new subpixel alert sound. So <laughs> next in the terror tears, what is the most terrifying? Occupation. The plumber. <laughs> uh, film school. We have seen mm -hmm. this. I was. I almost leapt out of my chair when this Clown. happened earlier in the episode. Oh no! Clown. <laughs> it is. Pietro. <laughs> well, so we God already have two votes for the horrible clown Ram. God bless you, sir. From the Animal Crossing series. This was my pick for number one. I could not fathom a more horrifying creature or character design 
in the whole of the Nintendo canon, <laughs> purely for the philosophical reasoning that he is a clown and a terrifying, horrible, weird clown. Just horrendous. And that is my presentation on terror <laughs> in the Thank Nintendo you. universe. Yay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Incredible. Um, so I'm going to do just a slight bit of a sum up rep work over here uh how do you guys feeling about your presentations uh i made it when i was very tired and it was funnier than i thought it was going to be i i'm not gonna lie i phoned this one in it still worked i though. put a lot of effort into mine i the the amount of effort i put into it was i went back to watch the vod of last time to find someone's template that i could copy because i thought it'd be <laughs> funny <laughs> well mine had three pictures so I Everyone I was like, oh, I'm going to go full bore, and I didn't want to do too much, and then Ian hit the too much threshold, so now I know I can go even further. <laughs> Ian, I was terrified <laughs> Ian was going to put as much work in this time as he did last time, and I was just going to be like, all right, well, then fuck everything. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, give me one second. I am going to share this with you guys. Basically, what I have in front of me is the list. Um the list so here's what's going to happen we are going to go through and uh you know we, we can have different orders but basically what we did last time was we went through and we discussed these and we just kind of said you know what i think crate is awful so we strike it i think mario is awful we strike it and we get it down 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 until we're left with three um gotcha william uh yosef it's crispers i know that you are a tried and true of this series are there any nominees on here that you think we should talk about and strike or talk about and I don't want to say lock, but kind of put a star next to is this is a good one. Why on there twice? Because he deserves <laughs> to be. Um, <clears throat> I see. I think that Coco Bunny is creepier than actually Coco's creepier than the clown. Is that the eyeless husk? Yeah, that oh, sounds terrifying. Least, there's like. A, that's not a, ugly it's a creepy. nugget of of aesthetic interest and also like an an interesting character personality that you've got this horrible like lifeless yeah, that's true immortal creature lurking around your <laughs> island uh not okay neutral. so i i've i don't know if i want to make this argument yet but i'm gonna say you can strike out you uh, which was one of mine. I just thought it was funny because I find that loading screen image so hilarious. And I think about it every time I play my switch and the screen <laughs> goes dark and I see my fat fucking face. Um, it's it's, it's had, the true ugly horror of life. <laughs> <clears throat> so you can, uh, you can get rid of that one. Um, yeah, I thought it was a good joke. I thought it was a good joke. I appreciate the effort Thank on you. that. Um, I think I think we need to put a star next to Pietro. I don't think we lock him yet, but he's he's a strong contender. I mean, he's he's he's, he's going to he's probably going to take it. He's got two I votes. can tell you I can tell you who's not going to take it and it's Tingle and the Mies. Yeah, Tingle I did, is not I, ugly. I mean as I said, I had originally had Tingle in Pigma Dengar's spot. I I think we're going to be gridlocked on Tingle because I know Will and I won't budge. And I uh, know, I mean, obviously Ian brought him forward and Jake, you just said you were going to use him. So it's two well, to two. So he was, yeah, so he was a first, first round. Pietro's a lot because I was going to put Pietro on my list originally. I also thought about Pietro. Actually. <laughs> so let's go to Tingle real quick. Not that we have to decide it right now, but for Tingle, I, I'm not sure that I've encountered Tingle in a game. But I do find He's him been... hideous. So can you explain to me as people who have played the game why you feel he doesn't belong in this list uh he's a good meme um he canonically fucks and uh very similar to the uh, bandel snap combo pip uh anything unique can be sexy thank you for your time i think he's cute and funny in the game and he does his little magic thing and gives you the maps and stuff yeah. he's very helpful i find him way more adorable as a full grown man in a tiny little tingle costume, then I do find him ugly. He's also canonically from the real world and was sucked in. Wow. And off. That's oh, weird. Yeah. Captain N style, baby. 
Okay. Well, I I think we don't have to talk about Tingle yet because we can talk about <clears throat> Mario. I need to know if any of my argument landed. No. No. I thought okay. you were going to use an image from the Super Mario Bros. movie, um, and I was I was <laughs> I was horrified. I, I thought, thought you were going to do the do... bald Mario. Yeah, the bald, mustacheless Mario or the shirtless Mario with the weird nipples. But you no, didn't because it's not that bad. Because he doesn't so look I'm that bad. Not... Then you just then you just ruined your own argument. That's fine. That was more of a joke nominee, but I will say once you start thinking of Mario as a plumber from Brooklyn, you have to fight the urge to like look at him that way because it is very creepy. But unfortunately, they're canonically not Italian. They're vaguely Italian. Oh, that's right. Also, plumbers are great. Um, OK, we need to talk about the Nintendo logo. <laughs> it was pretty ugly. I mean, like, look, my argument's not wrong. I just, I you didn't pick one, though. I think that's kind of my problem, is that you were just one. like... <laughs> you, <laughs> but the thing is, if you pick... What what are you saying, Mr. Gibson? The Nazis aren't ugly? Yeah, you didn't think about this when you, when you walked into this trap. I'm saying, I think by your logic, this would include the current Nintendo logo, which is pretty good. I'm and currently wearing, wearing it. it. <laughs> it's great. So I think it's very funny. I, from a graphic design standpoint, I did not have any issues with any of the ones you showed me, except the one that looked like the Denny's logo. <laughs> the Denny's logo <laughs> was really bad. Which was not that it was bad. It was just like, this seems like it's encroaching on someone's intellectual property. <laughs> Copyright. Yes. Um, I know I'm fine to strike this as um, it doesn't really count. However, I would like to say that I deserve bonus points for using the literal characters that define Nintendo's logo as the operation Nintendo that. character. I like That's that. That's pretty good. From a um, wordplay standpoint. We need to talk about John Lego is a me. I, I don't I'm not sure I quite understand this nominee. Can you can you go through it again and pitch it again? John Leguizamo played Luigi in the terrible live action uh, Super Mario Bros movie and he's an ugly man. I don't think he's that ugly though. <laughs> not he's like he's got a a a marketable look. He's yeah. not what you would call traditionally handsome, but he's certainly not like I don't know, like a if like, John Leguizamo asked really me to go out man. on a date, I would agree. Yeah, I would agree. Really? Like Steve yeah, Buscemi. I'd love to talk shop with him. Steve Buscemi is uglier and is still not quite ugly, ugly. So that's yeah. why. Gary Busey. Yeah, he's not Gary Busey. Okay, well, he wasn't in a car accident. <laughs> well, he's not. Motorcycle accident. Whatever. He's not quite Elephant Man ugly, you know? So. Yeah. Um. Are you are you okay or without striking this from the list, Chris? Or do you yeah, have? I don't. I don't, I don't care that much. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to go to bed. Dude, dude, I, dude, I wrote John Leguizamo. I wasn't expecting to win on this point. <laughs> yeah, so, so, I agree with the kids. Take, oh no no no! I will fight to the bloody death. No, yeah, that's a good princess. pick. That's a solid I, pick. Yeah, I. I didn't look. I hate Twilight Princess. I've never played it. I don't want to because I hate that art style. Man, that is the most Ian Gibson sentence I've heard in my entire fucking life. It's, it's a I bad. Know. It's a bad art style, and I was expecting bad. I didn't know the kids would look that bad. No, it's you started that sentence with "Look, I hate Twilight Princess." Comma. I've never played it. Comma. Correct. Continue to train of thought. That's correct. And yet you're looking forward to playing Plus, Skyward Sword. A and worse game. Skyward Sword is already better than Twilight Princess because it doesn't look like oh Twilight Princess. <laughs> uh, the kids are ugly. Pretty much all the characters, except for that hot lady uh, who runs the uh, like so Star by the Water, uh, are ugly in this game. Um, but that's fine. Are they intentionally ugly? I maybe because like the whole like this was nin this was Nintendo Nintendo's uh, note for when they were doing the art style for this game was uh, gothic. Oh boy. And apparently, according if you ask the the artists in Japan, that just means bad looking. <laughs> like, like, not like, like, like they put a lot of work into it. It is, it is artistically, you know, they they did they put effort in a lot of They're it. I deliberately would say. ugly. Yeah, deliberately. Yeah, they they intentionally did oh, this. Boy, that is. It, I think for me, it was like the perspective of the faces. Like, if you looked at a third of the face, it was okay, but then the next third didn't match or line up proportionally right. <laughs> You know, so it was just yeah. and then there were certain parts like the forehead that are just way too big. So it's just a, like it's like almost like a wonky montage collage of bad faces. Um, 
Anybody have any have another one they want to talk about? Should we talk about Mies? Um, I mean, I'm not going to agree with the Mies because Matt is a me and he is an international icon. I, there, yeah, I will. Matt. I will not holistically, whole cloth, say that the Mies are bad. I think it depends on the individual me in question. I think. Okay. I think the fact that they are user created means that even like a super ugly me is not off putting in an ugly way. It's more like awe inspiring, where you're like, "How did you make that?" You know what I mean? <laughs> um, I, I think we strike it from the list. What do you guys think? It's wills to defend. Yeah, that's fine. I just think all me's are ugly. That's ridiculous. They should bring them back. Honestly, I really want them to. I mean, they're gone. They're, they're, they're not gone. gone. They're, they're very... either out now or out soon. But they're it's not. Out. They're so, not in a yeah. system. They're not at a system level. You I know? mean, you. Yeah, that's technically yeah, true. Should... Um. Okay. Uh. Anybody have another <laughs> one they want to talk about? Should we talk about Poink? I don't know if point counts. This was my, I was, uh, this was my, definitely my weakest pick, but I wanted to use it because it looks like a butthole. <laughs> but yeah. why didn't you just use like Slack off a Pokemon that shows you it's asshole? Because Pokemon <laughs> are Nintendo. Point is I a lot more. It, the, the eye is drawn. The mouth is like the only point besides the eyes that the that is like of any sort of visual interest on the design so yeah. you're it's all just focused right to the weird sphincter mouth you know i will give so you it's credit. a lot a lot more in your face than yeah slack off i will give you credit when i saw it at first i thought oh its lips just look weird because it's you know it's low res you know it's it's just like a low polygon mm. character but then you talked about how you have to attach to it and blow it up etc and i was like okay now i'm definitely seeing the butthole stuff to you know shoot it at <laughs> PD Piranha. they're leading into it um i i mean i i think that i think that it's ugly and it's bad i just think that it's it's not it's too minimal yes there's not, I, this there's is not, not enough to hate i will yeah. not die on the hill of point okay but i, I think, would make it an honorable mention we strike point uh, an uglable mention. Um, okay, so we're we're left with five right now. Pietro, Tingle, Kids from Twilight Princess, Kraid, and Pigma Dengard. Let's let's talk about Kraid and then Pigma because we haven't talked about them yet. I, I'm actually not familiar at all with Kraid, and it seemed kind of disgusting. What do you guys think? I am of the mind that giant monster designs like that, if they are ugly, it is good i don't know i've never seen like a giant creature like a horrifying like yeah. if we were doing like grossest bloodborne characters or something there's so many of those creature designs that are disgusting but it mm -hmm. it adds to the so i think in metroid especially because they're supposed to be kind of these horrifying alien literal alien and alien and adjective or um yeah adjective um i don't know I like him. Yeah, I like him too. I think his design's great, but it doesn't mean he's not ugly. I I think what was very surprising me for me was the imagery you showed. Like those were I know you're saying they're belly buttons and I'm not contesting that, but they just look like a weird like nipple scar belly button combination. See, They're my brain went to looking. went to belly button as soon as like Will was like, yeah, the belly button's like, yeah, totally are. But then you said nipple, and I was like, oh, they could also be nips. However, three pointed phalange nipples. Yeah, when you have three of them, Ugh. is ugly. Yes. But also, that that thing in it shoots out, and then it's just a hole. Oh, so and it reloads and his... shoots out, reloads, shoots out. Oh, yeah, like nips. Oh. Yeah, like nips. Um, so it's like he's firing it, his Kraid, gross belly button crust. Kraid gross. is ugly and fat and slimy. However, it's also kind of a kaiju. So yeah, I think he's also ugly because he's a sentient pirate who also rules a planet and is evil. I'm going to so, make a semantic distinction between gross and ugly because I think he's gross for sure. But I that design wise, I don't think he's ugly i think um just to piggyback on that i think chris your kaiju kind of inspired me to think about like crocodiles are not ugly 
but they have ugly features on them because of the nature of the animal that they are. And I think with Kraid, he is kind of ugly, but a lot of them is just like, oh, his creature species has ugly characteristics on it. Now, Kraid Namiso, ugly. Who is that like a high school bully of yours? <laughs> if um, we were this we're all talking about Stargate, so I can't bring up Star Wars here and expect everybody to know what I'm talking about. Uh let's talk about Pigma. Pigma Dengar. Um This is the first time Pig I've ever seen Pigma, and that was pretty ugly. Pigma's a really good contender. Also, I will say that um that's not even his ugliest form. He gets worse. Oh I, I think Pigma is also an interesting case in that if the costume design were different, I don't know if I would have put him on the list. Well, but would you like, like me to offer a oh, uh, different outfit of Pigma's? Because this one's pretty rough. Sure. I will yeah, bring that's good. that up. Oh, no, that's on stream. There it is, folks. <laughs> but I mean, but like, I'm picturing if not, you had him not as bad dressed in like a like like a power armor or something with maybe like a cape he might be more of like a like a a character uh, that might command some power here's his here's his pre-villain look maybe that'll 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 culture us a little it's bit it's a little bit of like a fun hero i mean that's all kind of what they're like similar to the rest of the star fox crew that's yeah really yeah. I mean, that's what i mean in star fox wiki perverts are out there yeah. he's kind of cute in this though i mean i know now, still a bad i will guy, say but... Yeah, is oh, he not his guy. species that looks like that? So technically, he's a creature. Um, is well, he really ugly if they're made like that? You know, if well, they I, all look I will like note that. that his his eyes got white. Uh, he let himself go. He gained weight. He started to drool a lot more on himself. He also started to <laughs> snort. He also started to snort more and like you know make more gross pig noises. Um, he also uh, became a lot cooler with like bombing civilians and like. Uh, taunting children about the, the their parents that he killed so doesn't he also he also wolf got uglier in what now though doesn't wolf kick him out for That's being a, like at one point yeah uh, and, and and then he gets uh half of his body melted into a flying saucer uh, wow. uh sorry a flying saucer that's made of flesh okay like so tannics. i'm gonna i'm gonna do this okay are we ready and he's into that by the way so he's also so not only is he ugly, he's also gross. Let's bring it down to the final five and let's start throwing punches. I will throw the first punch. I think Tingle is out. I I think an individual's ugliness can be mitigated by cuteness or usefulness. And I I think you guys have made a good argument. Any objections to taking out Tingle? No, I think Tingle's hot. Yeah, Tingle's great. All right. Um, so, do we want to go ahead and lock Pietro and kids from Twilight Princess, and we're debating between between these two? I think we lock Pietro. Okay. And then we try to try to eliminate one more. Um. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. So, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not crazy about Kraid or Pigma Dengar. I I think for Pigma Dengar. It just looks like a slightly evil pig, and like the evilness is ugly. And for Kraid, they're just kind of like a. Ugly but are, are we creature. going off pure physical ugliness here? I think. Well, you, you could argue. You could argue. We not. offered. We offered a lot of different definitions they're, they're right. of ugly. Yes. And only a couple of them were physical. Not, no, I offered. I mean, Kraid is a bad guy who runs it's the muscle of a pirate organization who rules a planet evilly. I I think the Kraid is ugly than Pigma. Like like the nipples alone, the nipple belly button things alone. I think put Kraid above Pigma. Uh, but just imagine how bad Pigma's nips are. Do you think they're he's got that he's got that spandex jumpsuit on? You can't see them. You think they're imagine, ima imagine they're the, the smell. <laughs> do you think he has like little patches on like a runner so it doesn't rub all yeah, his I nips on the inside of the suit? Yeah, all all that moving you do while flying a fucking I was gonna ship. say though as a, as a <laughs> As a counterpoint, if we imagine Kraid in a spandex jumpsuit. Oh, the, he'd be bulging. He'd look like he had three boners. Oh, does that's it, does, right. Yeah. Does it support his boobies better? Who, 
because that could just be good for it. Good for him. Now that Will has posted this picture, I do not like the gaping hole. I hate. I hate. Disgusting. I hate the gaping hole. But if if I look at his top half, he's just a cool fucking kaiju. That's the thing, though. Like, yeah. oh, like, you, okay. The, fan art is not allowed. Fan art is first, oh, yeah. Get this out of image, here. It was on Google. That first image that Will showed Fine. was presented from this low angle. He's very big and powerful looking. If you look at him from the bust, thank you for the high res image. Super cool. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm almost like a fucking you. Dark Souls villain. I think there's a very strong argument here, which is that. I completely forgot that his face alone is incredibly ugly. I was so focused on the nips. Like this, this guy is hideous anywhere you look. He is god awful ugly. Told you. Oh God! What did you just say? I'm not. I'm not pulling that up on the stream. Um. Okay, so. Maybe we should make another. What do you guys want to do? You want to make a lock or you want to cut one of these three? Uh, I think Craig's top half is awesome. But I agree. That, I think he looks awesome. He's an awesome see, creature design, but he's still ugly. I, I'm 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 torn because you wouldn't kiss him. You know what? I don't know. Craig, you would not kiss him. Craig is uglier. And here here's here's my here's my argument that I hope will will uh, helps it sell. Look at look at Pigma Demgar, Pigman. Imagine oh. he extends his hand and touches you. All right. Now look at Crave in that in that last oh. image that that uh Willie oh. said. Imagine those hands touch you. Oh my god, that's way worse. It's Crave. So <laughs> I, I'm sorry, gonna, Pigma. I'm gonna do you this then. Murderous war criminal. Let me know if you disagree, but I think it's that right. Pietro kids from Twilight Princess and Kraid. That was like a lot. I think I think Pigma Dengar presents the ugliest Nintendo character. <laughs> I think this. Sponsored by Pigma Dengar. Okay, yeah, Pig, that's fine. Pigma definitely like he's like the host of the event. Yeah. Also, Halucha points out that Pigma is definitely like a straight guy who doesn't wipe his ass, and that's one hundred percent true. <laughs> Pigma balls. <laughs> Don't they love slop pigs? Anyways, uh, folks. I think that's going to... seconds. We're down to it. The official ugliest Nintendo characters as decided by us, Pietro, the kids from Twilight Princess, and Kraid. I think just an incredible episode. How are you guys feeling about our final three? I feel good. It is I acceptable. Made it. I'm glad that Twilight Princess... I mean, Princess we all made is, it, technically. I'm glad that Twilight Princess's art style gets the disrespect that it deserves. <laughs> I will always bring that 100%. Um, Good well, game. Folks, Terrible art style. Well, folks, that's going to do it for us this evening. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining. Will. Hey, buddy. I gave you hey. some guff on Discord, but you brought it. You bought a better presentation. Thank you. Were you? Okay. You're thank welcome. Thank you. Um, any closing thoughts, final words, and where can people find you? Uh, you can find me um in the hills of lima lamonska in final fantasy 14 on twitter at hunt 270 um yeah thank you uh you can find me wherever <laughs> wherever books are sold uh twitter.com slash save data chris uh you can also find me on twitter at jimmy carter uh that's about it though <laughs> and you can find me jimmy on carter twitter at think gibson i think the bests um my closing thoughts, you know, I'm going to be honest with you, that first episode was a little tough. I think we didn't know the tone, but now that we got two episodes in the bag, I think we're looking a lot better for this series. How you guys feel? Is, is this one making the, the real channel or is this making the streams channel? I think it will <laughs> eventually make the real channel. Who knows? You know, the crazy thing is we put stuff on our real channel. It still doesn't get views because the algorithm fucking hates us. Anyways, uh, it's crazy because it loved us for a decent amount then it really loved us for a month or two and now it just refuses that's to how it fucking do exists. man it's awful uh jake where can people find you in closing thoughts i'm on twitter at underscore jake terrio or www.jaketerrio.com um i was glad to be included in this especially if it is seen in the future people will look back on this as the moment that we righted the ship of the best series that's correct. So, 
The, uh, look, look at those three idiots and that guy that wrote, wrote that book. Part of history. Don't worry. I wrote uh, a book? Episode three, I'll bring Stargate <laughs> back. We'll, we'll bring it full circle. Uh, folks, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, this stream, you can find us at subpixelfilms.com. That right, takes you right to our main YouTube channel where we have a bunch of our edited videos, like the video that went up just uh, yesterday. Uh, another fantastic pixelate episode where we took a high camcorder to new york city the big apple and had some fun you can also find links to our stream archive channel there uh you can also find us on twitter twitch facebook instagram and tiktok at subpixel team our next stream is going to be thursday 9 p.m eastern on youtube we're going to be doing another episode of local chat our uh, quite frankly better than i thought it would be podcast it's a lot of fun chris you're going to be on that one yeah i'll be there Ooh, it's gonna be a good one folks uh thank you guys so and much for joining guest, us jeff bezos back from space yeah I, uh, ugh, 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 ugh. penis rocket <laughs> and on that penis rocket note thank you guys so much for watching thanks for joining we'll see you all next time bye bye, bye.